Sports break. The flood weary got a spiritual wake me up, but not in their usual house of God. Congregants of Triumph Lutheran Brethren Church across the river in Moorhead, Minnesota, came to worship in a hotel in Fargo. Other churchgoers whose homes are flood threatened were welcomed too. So far, a week-long battle against the mighty Red River has been a draw, and on Sunday, Fargo got a wake-me-up early this morning. And not a welcome one either, a breach in the dike. Crews managed to contain the flooding to Oak Grove Lutheran, but the waters have torn through the private school's campus. Well, this is the third emergency of our shift. Got the call that uh, needed to get out here and do some work with the sewer. Fargo braced for a river crest of up to 43 feet in Sunday, but the weather service says the red hit its peak. It's dropped to just over 40 feet, still more than 20 feet above flood stage. To shore up the dikes and levees, National Guard helicopters prepared to drop giant sand balloons on vulnerable spots. We're encouraged and that's why I asked these homeowners how they're feeling. They know this river. If you talk to these guys, you know, they've been through this before, not at this level, but they've been through the flood fight before. And you see that as you go around and talk to them. The dike Joel Highcamp here, folks, on the Mighty 790 KFGO, your connection to flood 09 24 7. During the flood fight, Fargoans have kept their stereos on, tuned to AM stations like KFGO. It's because it's so accessible for folks. They can call in, they can get word out. If we don't know, uh, what we're having is we're having a lot of people call in. If we don't have the information, it gets out to them in a different way. Somebody calls in and says, gee, I know a route to there, or I know where the evacuation went here. And so KFGO even built a dike around its own building, just in case. And many in this city of 90,000 will keep up the prayers, just in case. National Weather Service forecasters say the cold is actually helping the river retreat. It's actually stopping the flow of water from going into the Red River. So by the time it warms up here, the biggest flood threat should have passed. John Moe, the Associated Press, Fargo, North Dakota.